Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Crash Course Spine and episode 9 we will be going over spine skin tool. Now if you've been following this series, you would recall that in the first episode I mentioned that our character will have a light skin version and a dark skin version. Our photoshop project was set up so that all the layers for the dark skin version of our character and those for the light skin version were organized in two separate groups. Also when we ran spine's layers to png script, we turned on the use groups as skins option. By doing this, our PNGs were saved in two separate folders, one containing the assets for the light-skinned character, the other for the dark-skinned version. In episode 2, we saw our project had two skins that we could toggle between. In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at those two skins, how they look and how well they function. In the tree view, we navigate to skins. Right now, the light skin is active. We need to switch over to the dark skin and make sure that everything looks okay. When I switch to the dark skin, I instantly notice a problem with the legs. Moving the character in the y direction confirms that our legs are not bending as they ought to. We can quickly switch to the light skin to confirm how the legs should be functioning. So why do the legs stop bending when we switch our character's skin? You see, in episode 6 when we were creating the mesh for the legs, we were working on the light skinned version. Now when we change the skin, the leg assets for the selected skin don't have a mesh and so they don't bend. Thankfully, it is fairly easy to resolve this issue. We first have to switch back to the light skin. Next, we select the right leg and navigate to it in the tree view. With the right leg attachment selected, we go down here and click on the linked mesh. You notice that a new linked mesh is created under the right leg slot. Now we switch back to the dark skin. As I switch back to the darker skin version, I notice that the right leg asset doesn't change like the rest of the assets. To resolve this issue, we need to point the right leg asset to fetch its image from the correct folder. To do so, we select the linked mesh we've just created and duplicate it. Now we want to rename this so we double click it. Currently it's called light skin forward slash right leg 2. This means that our asset is in the light skin subfolder within the main images folder. By renaming it to dark skin forward slash right leg, we can change the path of the image. This tells Spine to fetch the right leg asset from the dark skin subfolder instead. We click OK and take our renamed mesh and drop it inside the right leg skin placeholder. We turn on the visibility for the skin placeholder. Now we toggle back to the light skin and give our character a little bend. When we return to the dark skin, you can see that the right leg that we've modified bends just as it ought to. Now we can do the same for the left leg. We quickly switch back to the light skin, select the left leg and navigate to it in the tree view. We select our left leg attachment and create a linked mesh for it. With that, we can switch back to the dark skin. Now, if we take a close look, you can see that our left leg is bending. However, you can tell by the color that it is actually the leg asset for the light skin. To put this right, we navigate back to the left leg slot. Now we duplicate the linked mesh and double click to rename it. Right now our mesh is called light skin forward slash left leg 2. This means that the left leg asset we see right now is located in the light skin folder. If we rename this to dark skin forward slash left leg, spine will load the left leg asset from the dark skin folder instead. As I've already mentioned, both the dark skin and the light skin folders are inside the images folder. As soon as you press OK, you notice that the left leg asset changes. This is because when we renamed the asset, we also changed its path to the dark skin folder. Next, we select the linked mesh, drop it inside the left leg skin placeholder and turn on the visibility of the skin placeholder. As we toggle between the dark and the light skin, we see that both the legs bend properly. Now in the next episode, we work on this character's helmet. It will be the last tutorial on how I set up this project, so if you've been following the series, do stay tuned for that. Hope to see you then and Allah Hafiz.